Welcome to Lab 200. In this lab, we're going to be looking at the sales of CoolCart and get a basic introduction of the features of OAC. In this workshop, you're a chief marketing officer of an e-commerce company, and you're looking for innovative ways to increase revenues. We're going to be analyzing some of the sales, uh, country data, and many more to evaluate whether our campaigns, such as social media campaigns, have been effective. You can see here is the data for a cool cart. We're going to upload that first to the OAC5 instance we created. So go back to the instance and hit create. We're going to want to create a project. This will open a new tab for us with a new project in it. We're next going to hit create data set and then upload the file. Now you can navigate to the CoolCart sales data and upload that. It's now going to upload into the project. Before we add the data to our project, let's briefly take a look at the columns. Over here we have an A. A stands for attribute, and these are generally non-numeric fields, like text. Next, we have the date. The Oracle Analytics Cloud automatically detects that this is a date and signifies it as such. Finally, there is also measures. Measures are indicated by the hash sign, and they are generally numeric fields. Now we are going to add the data set. Now the data has been successfully added. If you look to the right, you can see a recommendations column. This includes some recommendations to enrich the current data. Now, let's see this data in action. Hit the Visualize tab up top. This will take you to the data elements. Select Cool Car Sales Data, and you'll see all the different columns in the data set. We're going to select Month, and then hold the Control or Command key, depending on your computer, and also select Revenue. Right-click and hit Create Best Visualization. This uses embedded machine learning to depict the most relevant and smart representation of the data. Now let's do a quick review of the UI. So if you open the tab over here, we have the project menu. Now in this tab, we have the project components menu. Up here, we have the project tabs between prepare, visualize, and narrate. This search function allows you to search through your columns. <clears throat> now, let's get back to this visualization. Go ahead and select Category and drop it down to Color. Once it applies, you can see monthly revenues broken out by product category. Next, we're going to create another visualization. Go over to the Data Elements tab, select Customer Age Group, hold control or command depending on your computer and select revenue and we're going to hit pick visualization from this menu we're going to select the donut now we're going to select another visualization let's go to the data elements tab again select date and then revenue now we're going to hit the Create Best Visualization button. Now that we have great visualizations, let's format them as to how we desire. Move the Revenue by Date visualization to the upper right hand corner. It'll snap just like that. Now let's move this donut visualization of Revenue by Customer Age Group over to the left. But this graph's a bit small. Let's use the arrows to spread it out a bit and make it more visible. Now, let's adjust some of the colors. Let's go to this tab over here, select Project Properties, and then hit the Default in the Color Series option. Let's scroll down and select Tokyo, and hit OK. You can now see that this color scheme applies across all the visualizations on this canvas. But let's go back to change it how it was. Go down and set Reset Colors in the menu. And voila, they'll be back to how they were before. Now, let's give this canvas a name. 
go to the menu and select Canvas Properties. Here we can change the name. Let's call it Revenue Analysis. Once you've accepted that change, go ahead and hit OK. Now, let's get in more detail about these visualizations. Hover over the Revenue by Date visualization and right click. Select Add Trend Line to add a trend line to this visualization. This can be modified in the Revenue by Date menu over here. Now, the trend line is fully complete. Now, let's further segment the Revenue by Date visualization. You can do this by selecting Category and then moving it to the Trellis Rows selection over here. This will segment this revenue by date according to each category. Now this is interesting. You can see the different data here and the different sales. Books and Audible seems to be doing quite well, but clothing and shoes and electronics and computers seems to be turning down right now. And movies and music is also doing well. Now that we have these great insights, how do we show them? How do we display them? That is what the Narrate tab is for. So go ahead and select that. On the left, you can see all the canvases that you have. Now let's add this to our story. So select the hamburger menu and hit Add to Story. Now let's flesh out this Narrate tab a bit more. You can do so by hitting the icon up here, the Add Note icon. This will give you a dialog box. Let's add a note to those that will be viewing this that clothing and electronics are not following the overall sales trend. Let's place this over here. Also, let's give this canvas a meaningful name. Go over to the title box over here and let's rename it clothing and electronics. Now that this is finished, let's save the project. Hit the drop down menu up top and hit save as and give the name cool cart and then hit save. Congrats, you're well on your way to creating compelling data visualizations. One more thing before we end this lab. Let's go back to the Visualize tab. Now that we're back in the Visualize tab, let's look at the Revenue by Date panel. Here it contains a lot of features which you can toggle. We have a number of features, so General is one of the columns here. We also have Edge Labels and Axes. This allows you to toggle information about the different axes. Values allows you to manipulate and transform the values. Same with the date time here. And there's also additional analytics features in this last column. With these features, these will be very useful down the road as you get more experience using the Oracle Analytics Cloud.